Hi guys, I'm making fish pie just briefly and um, tell you what I'm going to put into my pastries. So I've got mixed vegetables here and um, I've also got tuna and red onion. You can use any type of fish you want but I chose to use tuna with some mushroom. I've got onion salt which I'll put a little bit in there, less than a teaspoon. I've got garlic sauce, uh, sorry, uh, maggi sauce and this is to give a taste. Some salt. You need oil and you need your pan. So I've got the pan here. I've just put a little oil in there. And the reason why I'm not using a lot of oil is because the tuna has oil in it. So I'm not using too, as you can see, the oil is just too little. So whilst that is um, cooking, I'm going to now pour everything in there. My vegetables, the tuna, and just mix together. And this is going to go into my pastry because I'm trying to make some fish pie. I'll put the recipe on there for you. So you can use any fish you like and you can make it how you want it. So the feeling, anything at all, chicken, vegetables, then you can use, but I chose to use mushrooms and tuna and it's very tasty. Just mix together and then in go is my mushrooms. Mix, mix, mix. And then my maggi sauce. can put about a, taste, um, a teaspoon of maggi sauce and half a teaspoon of onion salt as you can see I don't like measuring but I have an idea how much is going in there you can also taste and if you don't like it you add more seasoning to your choice or to your taste rather So while this is cooking, just keep mixing. Oh my god, I wish you can smell this. This is gonna taste a little bit. Oh, it's nice. But I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my micro sauce. I like it. You don't need to put salt in it because it's a bit, um, the maggi sauce is a bit salty and also the onion salt, so you don't have to put salt in it. They all come with salt. You can taste it and if you feel it makes salt, then add it. So keep mixing until the mushroom is cooked and then it's for your feeling. You can add more vegetables if you want. Any vegetables of your choice. So I've got 750 grams of salt raisin flour. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt to the flour. And then I'm going to add about 375 grams of butter. And then mix. If you find that the dough is too soft you can add more flour or if you find out that it's too um, dry you can add some milk either milk or water if you use water find out that um, the meat pie gets hard so I normally use milk you can use any type of milk you can use um, what do you call it skimmed milk full milk whatever your choice is so far as if you're comfortable to use it, feel free. So I'm trying to make the pastries for my pies. So we need flour. You can use plain flour or self-raising. I'm using self-raising. And then 
teaspoon of salt and 375 grams of butter any butter of your choice ideally the one for cakes um, or bacon is good so just trying to mix as you can see um, this is a bit dry try and mix it properly and show that the butter is mixed totally with the flour and then I'm just gonna add a bit of milk right so I've mixed as you can see the flour and the, and the butter with salt and this is what I'm getting at the moment which is fine and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a hole and then I'm gonna add my milk so you can as I said you can add milk or water I'm adding milk to it and then mix if you do need more milk just add, keep adding until you get a binding dough okay so just mix together yeah I think I need a little bit more milk You can add as much as you want because I need my dough to be very, very not too soft but binding together. So, as you can see, it's binding together. Just keep mixing. Uh, this is exercise for the day. <laughs> so you need a consistency like this can you see so you want the dough to be this soft yeah and make it mixing Hi guys, so you need a tray with butter um, used as a liner and this is to prevent the dough from sticking onto your tray unless you have a non-stick tray but ideally even with the non-stick I still use butter as a prime because I don't want it to stick into my tray and then what's gonna happen is I have um, a rolling board you need a rolling board a rolling pin and then we're going to roll our dough make sure you put some flour on the on the board so that it doesn't get stuck to the board and then we're going to roll it please don't roll it too thin or too thick medium is fine okay so this should be okay as you can see smooth and nice I don't have um, a cutter you can use a pastry cutter so I'm gonna use a bowl and I'll show you how I'm doing it so all you have to do is um, just press firm and whilst you're pressing you twist like that like that like a dancing salsa so you twist and then you see lift and you get your, your circle and the way you need to do is just lift this so this is the thickness you need feeling is is not hot because it will melt the dough and show that it's, it's cold and then just put it in the middle put it in the middle put it in the middle make sure it's not too much because when it's if it's too much it will leave your dough um, open and coming out of it so you also need some butter uh, sorry some egg and this egg is to bind the end you know to seal it so just whisk it and then mix and then what you need to do is go onto the side so that that will seal it and then you just put your finger like this whilst you're covering you're pushing the dough but don't do it too hard because it will leave your your pastry open and then press at the end so that it will seal the end so this is what we need okay and then you can put a little hole and this hole this hole 
is to ensure that the vapor comes out so that it cooks nicely so you can make any design you want yeah any design you want and then once you do that you put some butter on to give it a nice golden color sorry some egg not butter pardon me it's egg to give a nice golden color and then it goes into our tray so you do all of them like that I'll do one more for you to see so it goes in the tray so Make sure you leave a little gap because you don't want it too close otherwise it gets stuck to each other so it will stick if you put them close together just leave a little gap thank you so I've just been egg ration my pastries and they're gonna go into the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes dependent on the color when it's golden brown then it's done please make sure the oven is not hard, it's, uh, sorry, it's not high, but it's a medium um, <clears throat> heat so that it can cook really well. And don't forget to wash it with your egg. So I've put it on 200 at the moment, gas mark, just to make it warm. And once that is, when it's, when it's hot, I'm going to reduce it to 150. And then we'll leave it for about 20 minutes but keep an eye on it sometimes it can get too hot so we need to know it so our pies are ready you can see um i'm going to break one for you to see how soft tasty it's gonna be so i'm just gonna break the pie to see how soft 